The history palette is basically used to go back in time to correct mistakes. When I click on the history palette, you'll see that we have the name of the image and it says open because all I've done is simply open the image. Now I'm going to go back to layers and I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to paint on the layer. I'm going to create another new layer. I'm going to change the color. And then I'm going to paint on that layer too. When I go back to the history palette, you'll see that we have open, new layer, brush tool, new layer, brush tool. Now when we make a mistake and we click the control Z or command Z or even edit undo, simply it's going to go back one step. Control Z goes back one step which is tied into this brush tool. And all it does is let me go back and forth with undo and redo and undo and redo. But what the history palette allows us to do is click and go further back in time. I can go back to new layer and then I can go back to the brush tool, then I can go back to the new layer tool and I can go back to the open. So basically I can jump to any point in time and just kind of skip around. So at this point I go back to where I was and I create yet another new layer, pick another color, and do this. And once again it adds more steps for myself where I can go back into different points in time. Now why is this very important? Well not so much in a situation like this but let's say you're painting somebody's hair and you're going stroke, 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 and you realize it really wasn't working out quite the way you had hoped, you can go to the history palette and back up a couple steps and then go forward again. Now at its core, that's how the history palette works. However, I do go into many more options and functionalities within my Adobe Photoshop Basic One course, where I have a lot more time to talk about each of these individual tools and concepts.